Hello, my name is Abe, welcome back to Slay the Spire. Defect. We need to get some progress made on the defect because we are only on Ascension level three. We've had some good runs in the past, but we've also had some pretty bad runs in the past. And I don't know really what makes one run good and one run bad. But what I think we're gonna do here is probably gain a lot of gold. We'll go to a shop. We'll exchange that gold for goods and services, and then we'll see what happens. I don't know how to play as the defect, is, is kind of what it boils down to. I don't know what you need to make a good defect run work. Do you need to try to get a lot of focus, or do you need to... I'm just gonna hit you. It's gonna be a while until we can kill this guy. I don't know what you need to make a good defect run work, is kind of just what it boils down to. Uh, 18 damage plus six means he's gonna live with one HP! You dirty dongle. Yeah, we could do a zero cost deck or something. I, I think what I'm learning is that you just need to take good cards and then later you can worry about making an archetype for the deck. So right now, for instance, we have Scrape. Claw, Compile Driver. What is a good card here? I mean, this is damage and draw, but we only have lightning. This is damage and draw for zero cost cards, but there are no zero cost cards in our deck, except for Zap and Dual Cast if we upgrade them, which we have to do at a store or at a campfire. Or at a question mark, I, I guess. So, like, I don't know what you do here. You add in a scrape? Add in some zero cost cards? I don't freaking know. And I'm definitely gonna take the gold because we are going to buy stuff here. Go for the eyes is good. Go for the eyes. It's weird. It's basically a worse neutralize, which is kind of strange, but you know, there it is. Um, all zero cost cards with the spinning top is fun, mud. But the thing about that is you have to actually have unceasing top. Un I love unceasing top as a defect, but it's hard to get. Lock on. Targets receive 50% more damage from orbs. Apparently this was buffed. So it's actually like a good card now. We could take Bullseye. We could take it Go for the Eyes. We could remove the curse, which we should probably do. Take Go for the Eyes. We'll take Bullseye. We'll take, uh... I think a Mayhem is pretty good. It's expensive, but it's a power we can make only cost one. Uh... Honestly, though, let's go for the upgrades. I think those were some good upgrades. I think we do want a loop. I think that was a pretty good shop. Lose gold for a relic, lose scrape for a relic. Take my gold. Whenever you add a power, it's upgraded. Okay. <laughs> also, now I'm thinking power deck. Okay. Yeah. So Joe is trying to think of a card. It's all for one. All for one makes it so that you draw all of your zero cost cards from the discard pile. It's a great card if you can make it work. So we'll apply lock on. Go for the eyes, strike. The lightning's gonna do four or five, four damage. Lock on seems like it could be pretty good, honestly. It removes debuffs. It's good damage on its own. I'll definitely take an AoE, at least early, and we'll fight a boss. So Sweeping Beam. Also gonna pop the potion, honestly. Thorns, energy, random skill, give me a random skill. Hologram, amplify, stack, ugh. Yeah, hologram, cause then we can like, hologram, sweeping beam, get more draw, get, a scrape and try to, well, the, nothing costs zero except for go for the eyes. Ugh, we'll get, drink the energy potion as well. Uh, we don't need thorns, I don't think. Can we just kill one? 10, seven, we'd have to, have to get lucky, but we can almost kill one. Sure, give me the bull, give me the bullseye. Give me, Give me a defend.
I was really hoping that would hit this guy. Block, block. We're gonna take a little damage here. It's an elite fight after all, but I think we'll be fine. I don't know if I wanna go fight the other elites is the thing. The other elites scare the sh crap out of me. You know, Big Red Man. Big Red Man could kill us, because this is a, a... Yeah, maybe we should hit the guy in the middle. The uh, Goblin Mob, Goblin Knob, rather. <laughs> the weirdest fucking name on him. Goblin Knob is kind of annoying, because he kind of... I'm not gonna say he counters the defect, because really he counters the silent, but he can be a pain in the butt. He can do a lot of damage. I think we want a cold snap. And you know what? We're gonna go hard for the elites. I'm gonna I'm gonna rest. If we l die on the elites, you know, whatever. If we die on the, el on the elites, who cares? What we are gonna do though is we're gonna wait until we find a zap or a cold snap, and then we're gonna go hard. Ooh, I guess we're gonna go hard on this turn. So, drink, loop. Cold, zap, strike, strike. Really want to hit him, but I think I should block, honestly. We're doing nine damage passively every turn, which is actually 12 thanks to the, the bullseye. Oh my god, I got no freaking block. If I cold snap dual cast, that's 10 block. That's 12 block. And then if I apply lock on you're taking more damage next turn or I could block. I'm gonna block. The bullseye only increases the lightning damage by one right now, so it's not that much. Give me a scrape. Strike, sweeping beam. Surprisingly, I think we're actually gonna get him next turn, which I did not expect, but yeah, you're dead. Good stuff. We didn't take too much damage there, and I, I think I did enough blocking to be happy. I'm tempted, honestly, to take a turbo. It's gonna make Goblin Knob a little bit more of a pain in the butt. We're gonna definitely take Anchor. Oh, and we're fighting the artifacts again. It's actually kind of nice. We don't need to block. This is a bit of a weird run. We have a lot of stuff that we need to upgrade, honestly. And we have no blocks. <laughs> so we're gonna take 20, unless we get really lucky with the dual cast. We've done it. We're only gonna take eight, actually. Okay. This deck is working. It, it doesn't really have great cards in it right now, but we're getting there. We're getting there. I'd rather take less damage, honestly. I need to get that loop out, and I need to get, you know, defrag, I need to get focus, capacitor. We gotta start making these uh, frost orbs better. I don't know how to do that, though, without just getting lucky and getting good cards, you know? That's the thing about the defect. I think you really do have to get a little bit lucky with your draw. He's dead before he hits us again. Gambling chip. You know, a pretty decent card so you can select your first turn. I do like Fission. If you upgrade it, Fission can be excellent, so I am gonna take it. What do we want on the first turn? We have 10 block, they're doing 14 damage. A cold snap, go for the eyes, protects us, so I'm thinking I mean, this is actually a pretty good hand. I wish I had more cards. I guess we're just gonna drop turbo. And I don't know what we're gonna hope for, but we don't need anything else. This is actually a good hand. We're gonna go for the eyes. Strike. Uh, cold snap. I should have cold snapped and then go for the eyes, but it doesn't really matter too much. The loop. We're taking no damage. And once, oh, never mind. I was going to say one strike kills them both, but the loop killed the first one. 
prayer wheel, prayer wheel, I will say, is excellent. Means we have a, a better chance of getting good cards that we want. So, you know, charge battery, glacier, I think that's a pretty good one to pick up. We gotta start making cards free and cards better. I think we're gonna start with fission. Because fission can let us bring back the orbs we've just gotten rid of thanks to cards like Cold Snap and Ball Lightning and Zap, which we do need to pick up those cards at some point. We'll get there, we'll get there. So give me the Zap. Give me the Evoke of both of those orbs. Yes. Then, give me a Scrape. Give me a Strike, give me a Strike, give me a Defend. And we kind of lost all of our orb slots. Well, we lost all the orbs in the slots, but he's dead. That's a good card. So we do kind of have a power build with Frozen Egg. So I am gonna take a force field. I know we only have two powers right now, but I, I plan to get more. I plan to get a lot more. They're doing 20 damage. That's night that's more than enough block. And Bullseye kills, actually Bullseye kills the big one on its own, so we don't need any block. So we can dump that, we can dump that, we can dump that. Yeah. So Bullseye kills that one. Actually, Bullseye plus Go For The Eyes kills that one. So I'm thinking we do that. Then we can dual cast. Okay. I mean, that's not a bad turn. We're gonna be made weak, but we can still kill the guy in the middle. Ooh, uh, mm, um, okay, we'll play a Glacier, and then we'll Fission. And then we'll self-repair, strike, strike. One strike kills the Gremlin Wizard next turn. Okay, we're fine. Let's try being luckier as a defect. No, oh, I'll give it a shot. That's the best efficiency. And actually, you're dead. Taking no damage in the last two encounters makes me feel a lot better about the deck. I think we do want a go for it for the eyes. With it, I do like Scrape for getting you lots of cheaper cards to play. So I do feel like adding in a couple of them. Like go for the eyes and stuff. Um, problem is you gotta upgrade them. And, you know, the upgrading is the hard part. Let's skip for now. Equilibrium's okay. Darkness I do like for a dark build, but it's kind of hard to get that started now. Uh, I think instead we'd probably just go for like an Equilibrium. Do we really need it though? Not really. We have a couple of blocks in the deck. Let's skip. I don't really see anything there that I, I particularly want. I'm gonna make Zap free. This way I, I have another target for Scrape. Don't need you, don't need you. Ooh, Fission is really good here. Zap, Cold Snap, Fission. I'd like to get some powers out, honestly. Yeah, we didn't. We can do some damage, we can draw, do some more damage. That's not a bad turn one, but that's a lot of our momentum thanks to Fission not giving us things that repopulate our orbs, which we do need. We might be able to get him to split next turn too, if we get enough attacks. Doesn't look like we will though. Yeah. So give me the self-repair. Do we need self-repair? No, we heal the full at the end of the fight. We might want to play it just to get it out of our hand though, but I just might want to block as well. So unfortunately, he's gonna hit us. I should have used the potion! We could have taken 15 less damage. That was dumb. That was very dumb. That was very dumb. Can you scrape? Bullseye. Go for the eyes. Strike. I will turbo strike because it's pretty good efficiency out of the attack. 
because it's essentially hitting two enemies. I could charge battery for energy, or I could just hit him. I'm just gonna hit him. No, I should not have hit him. Split him at exactly half. That's not what you want to do. Yeah, lock on. On you, and then we can't. The void. The void. But well, we're not gonna die, but I forgot we had void because we played turbo earlier. All right, you're dead. Gotta kill your friend now. We wanna kill the small one before we kill the next large one. Force field for three. I've only played one power? <laughs> I feel like I should have played more powers than that, but I guess not. Give me a strike, a defend, and get rid of a slime. We'll take three. All we have to do is survive this, and then we should be fine. I probably should have played self-repair a lot earlier, because with self-repair, it actually makes it easier for me to, uh, to play force field. There we go, first boss dead. It only almost cost us everything that we had. Bias Cognition is great. I, I think I underrate this card. I don't know if it's good for the deck that we have right now. I, I kind of think all for one could be excellent. You know, zap, go for the eyes. If we keep adding zero cost cards, we can keep drawing them. But if we get anything that gives us artifact, this is focus. It's a tough call. Um, I think I'm gonna go for biased cognition. And I think I'm gonna go with busted crown for one reason. And one reason alone, we have Prayer Wheel. So even though we'll have less card choices, we do have more opportunities to pick up cards. So instead of having one of three to pick from, we have two of two to pick from. We would only lose, basically, if you combine these two relics, you only lose one option. That's not that bad. Could be better, but it's not that bad. Set up the shop. What do we not want? Turn one. Well, we're gonna play Bias Cognition, we're gonna play Defend. I think what we wanna try to do is get more orbs. Like, this is actually real nice. We have four energy too, don't forget about that. The thing about Bias Cognition is that you have to play it at the right time. If you play it too early in a fight, you're probably gonna die. I don't wanna play Fission here. I just want the damage. If you don't have artifact and you play it at the wrong moment, you could just die. So you gotta be very careful about when you play it. So these are gonna do nine each. He's gonna live with one each. He. We're gonna be at full health though because we have self repair, so it's not that bad. Stack, don't need. Beam cell. I mean, it's a good card. I'll take it and then I'll try to add in more draw. Our deck's getting a little thick though. We don't have a lot of stuff right now. The debuff doesn't matter because he's just gonna ignore it anyways. I'd rather play powers and get another orb out. Since we're going we're going hard on uh, bias cognition again. <laughs> And we're taking five damage. But we have self-repair out. If we can kill him on the next turn, we win. We win the game. And 11 times two doesn't kill him, but scrape it does. Okay, you know what? Bias Cognition plus self-repair, it's working. I do like a steam barrier, I will say. I will definitely read this. We want the power. Nilri's Codex is so bad. <laughs> Take that out of the game, please. Mirror, do we want to duplicate anything? We could duplicate Bias Cognition, Self Repair, Fission. Clockwork Souvenir is a top choice, but we don't have that. Nate, whenever we play a power channel, a lightning could be excellent. Uh, let's take Storm. 
White noise. I could have taken two storms, actually. Could have been fun. We'll take a card removal. We'll remove a basic strike. Not an upgraded strike. A basic strike, please. Thank you. No. Go for claw. I don't think claw's the right call there. Okay, this is scary. Um, force field is gonna be two energy. Get rid of a strike. Gotta defend. Ball lightning. I think ball lightning is really good. Although with bias cognition, the defend from the cold snap could be better. We don't have an artifact potion. So give me a storm. Give me a bias. Cold snap. Five regen each. You have to add electrodynamics to the deck. Okay, Nilri's Codex, thank you. <laughs> We're taking one. As soon as we play that uh, Electrodynamics, we're gonna be happy. Machine Learning for free. Give me a Loop for free. Give me a Cold Snap. Give me a Defend. Give me an All for One. Okay, Nilri's Codex. <laughs> Adding the good rares. This Elite Fight could kill us, though. We have to be very careful about this. You have to play this. Like, have to. No, no, self repair. Oh, I played it in the wrong order. That's fine though. I think self. I think that was a good call to fight the elite. Uh, Electrodynamics basically want us to fight there. So thank you, Electro. Thank you, Nilri's Codex. You're not as bad as I thought you were. No, you're still pretty bad. <laughs> uh, let's make something else free. Ah, uh, uh, maybe even actually make like a a loop better. I would like to add in more powers. We just need to get the powers. This is fine. Storm. Loop. Bullseye. Zap. I will definitely add in a second bias cognition. If we spend more than four turns killing these cultists, we're, we've done something wrong with our lives. Receives 50% more damage from orbs. Oh, lock on doesn't make the orb target the enemy. It just makes them take more damage. You see, so lock on, apparently it's been changed many times. <laughs> it used to make it so that, ooh, Electro. It used to make it so that all of the orbs targeted one enemy. And apparently it's been buffed so that, well, I thought it was buffed such that the orbs would target one enemy and do more damage, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Very interesting. I don't quite understand why they would do it in that way, but hey, whatever. Give me the fission. There's self-repair. A little strange. Overclock, draw at a burn. It's upgraded. We don't have a lot of energy. Some extra draw could be good with something like Vision or if we have a lot of zero cost cards in our hand, but we don't have a lot of energy. I think I'm gonna skip that. And I don't want a second Steam Barrier, I don't think. Although it is good block. Because it's free, I'll add it. Molten Egg! Now we gotta add in more attacks. This is gonna be a thick deck. <laughs> I can see it now. It's gonna be so thick. I don't want it to be incredibly thick, but it's just, it's how it's working out for us. I know I was just saying I needed more draw, but I don't like the fact that that card adds in wounds. Give me a... Glacier, a fission, bullseye, scrape, beam cell, cold snap, strike, steam barrier. Could take another fission, but I don't think we need that. Another loop could be good, but right now we have no orbs. I will add it though. 
Actually, I guess we have one orb. We're taking more damage than I thought we would. Take a bias. I think we have... Wait, where'd the other bias cognition go? Did we not play it? We must have discarded it with scrape. That's unfortunate. We got him though. He's he's gonna he's gonna die. And we have self repair, so it's not like we took a ton of damage. Motion chip's kind of garbage, unfortunately. I don't like this effect because in order to have the passive ability of all of your, all of your orbs activate, you have to take damage. I'd rather not take the damage. Your skill. That's fine. Maybe I should add in an overclock. Maybe I should have added in that upgraded overclock. Because draw is nice. Capacitor, definitely. There's some cards that we just would like to have in the deck at some point. So we are frail, it's gonna be hard to block, but we have a turbo, we have a lot of cards in hand, and if we play all of our powers, force field is free. So you're dead, we're taking 22 damage. That gets us there. Cool-headed would be a good one to add to. Don't forget to change my game category. I don't know what you mean by that? <laughs> it has been changed. No, it didn't. I didn't hit the button to actually... Oh my god, I didn't change the title on Twitch. I, I typed it in, and then I just didn't hit accept. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I blame uh, Streamlabs chatbot, because if you have the, the drop-down menu open, and then you click apply, it doesn't actually apply. Thank you for, for reminding me of that. Hashtag blame Twitch. Or no, what was it? It was uh, hashtag blame uh, AGDQ. <laughs> Machine learning. At the start of your turn, draw one card. Heal 10 damage, draw one card for each unique orb you have. That's going to be at most draw two. Um. I don't like this as a power. We do have four energy though. I'll take it. <laughs> I say, I don't like this as a power. Let's take it, why not? Well, look, sometimes you just gotta do what you think you have to do. Well, give me a zap, storm, machine learning. Give me a bias, give me a fission. Draw more cards, give me a loop. Taking 24 damage, um, we don't need to use the potion. I'll take four. We'll take a Tempest. We've got this guy, all we have to do is just wait for self-repair! Loop got him. Damn it, damn it, Loop. I'll take another Steam Barrier. This one's upgraded, so maybe we can remove some of the other ones that we have. Probably not, but you never know. My god, I'll keep go for the eyes. Vision, that's what I wanted, actually. Because we can storm, machine learning, go for the eyes, steam barrier for block, vision for extra draw. Have more energy next turn. That was a, that was a pretty good turn, actually. Give me a white noise. White noise could give us anything. It could even give us a loop. It's not a great turn for Bias Cognition, but I'm gonna play it anyways, because we at least get one power out. And we need to get as many powers as possible out now. We need to channel as much lightning as possible. So give me the white noise into a storm, into a loop, into a loop, into a self-repair. Dude, absolutely take a buffer. This guy's already dead. He doesn't even know it. 
Yo, this is actually working. Absolutely take another force field. Unfortunately, that hit both of the defends. We have enough block, essentially. Storm. Machine learning. Uh, I mean, we could play Glacier, take no damage. Or we could scrape and try to get through the deck. Eh, it's fine. EGTQ did a run of Crypto the Necrodancer. Well, good for them. Not my favorite game. So we're gonna, what do we? Okay, okay, okay. Bias cognition. Self repair. Loop. He's taking. He's doing twenty damage. Okay, beam cell. Go for the eyes. Could have done this earlier, honestly. But give me the Dex potion. We'll gain block. Add in a capacitor. Why not? We're gonna be at. 74 of 75 HP. And a focus potion! We've done it! Oh, we do need draw. That's pretty good draw. We'll upgrade. What are we gonna upgrade in this weird ass deck? Probably anything to make it free or like a cool headed. That way we draw more. We really, like, we, we're in desperate need of something that raises our focus that is not freaking biased cognition, though. We need something. Because we're very quickly going to run out of steam with the cards that we have right now. In fact, I'm going to pop the uh, focus potion immediately. Okay, give me a... Loop. Self repair. Beam you. Give me a cool headed. Uh, give me the force field. 19. Taking a little bit of damage, not too much. Can't quite kill this guy with one attack. A dual cast might get him, but it's gonna have to be very lucky. Rather honestly, just block for a little bit more, get more energy. I'll take another storm. You know what? If the fight goes on for long enough, Nilri's Codex might be able to give me enough powers that we can kind of make up for a, a, a lack of progress on the fight, you know? That's what I'm hoping for, though, a defrag. I'm hoping for white noises from Nilri's Codex. I'm hoping for defrags and good powers and just good cards that we can add in. We're gonna have to play some block. That's enough block. We don't need to use Steam Barrier at all. Add in another defrag, you know? This might be how we get our focus on runs. How we become stronger as the fight goes on. It's not great, but it's something at least. I'm actually gonna pass on this turn. We can't play Bias Cognition. It's gonna shuffle. Okay. Uh, I don't want to play Bias Cognition. I think it's too early. I want to get to the defrag though. But if I fission, I'm gonna not have any orbs. And if I play Scrape, it might discard defrag. This is fine. Uh, I will take another loop. Keep adding in the powers. How much block do we have? 14 plus 12, we have 28 block. A cold snap gets us there, but I like the fact that we have a, a lightning orb at the front. So I'm probably just gonna play steam barrier and like a defend. You know what, what we could do is just play a Doom and Gloom. Well, we're still gonna take damage though. Not if I play this. Actually, we're gonna take one. 
Are we going to take one? I think we're going to take one. We're going to take one. Which means that emotion ship does activate. Maybe that's perfect. I don't know. Didn't need to play Steam Barrier there, but you know what? What's done is done. What I like also about adding powers from Neil Reese Codex is that when you play them, they're gone. They're not going to be cycled through your deck. Draw Pile, Loop, Bias Cognition, Fission. We're going to try it. Loop, Fission, Strike. That's a good next turn. I'm going to keep it. Because I was thinking we could al always reboot if we needed to, but we don't need to. I'm just waiting on the Dark Orb. One Glacier plus a Dual Cast kind of does it for us right now. Nope. Uh, okay, well, we could Fission. Could Cool Headed for Draw. And then Fission. Kills one enemy. Then we Loop. Go for the Eyes. Strike. Draw four cards. Well, if we're drawing four cards, let's play the cheap stuff in our hand. Then we'll reboot. Then we'll beam cell. Sweeping beam. I mean, that's a pretty good turn. I'll add a buffer. And we are gonna we are gonna live here. We're gonna defeat this boss. Which is surprising. <laughs> We only had four focus. This is not a good build for the heart, though. This is We need more. We need something more for the heart. Honestly, I'm thinking White Beast Statue, because Orrery is not going to be good with Busted Crown. Calling Bell for Curses doesn't seem super amazing, but more potions means that I, maybe I can build up an artifact, stockpile artifact, maybe a focus potion, maybe a... Uh, couple of artifact potions, and then when we hit the heart fight, I can pop Bias Cognition. I think I gotta go for Broke. I think we gotta go for Broke. I would like to fight some more Elites. The Elites haven't been too bad for us. A late shop on this path seems like the best call. Yeah. We'll follow this path up here. Oh, do not get rid of that card. <laughs> no, 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 What are we playing? Get rid of buffer. We don't need buffer. We have lightning and, and stuff to kill these guys. Oh, God, storm. I was hoping for something else out of that card, but that works too. Core Surge. This is a card that we want added to the deck. Anything that gives us artifact. Core Surge, Panacea. You have to die next turn. Give me a loop. Give me a self-repair. We don't need to Glacier because we could just use Force Field. Nah, we do need a Glacier. We need to, like, dual cast, actually. No, we don't. I don't want Hyper Beam. I don't want to lose the focus. I like having the Frost Orb up at the front, we just need some uh, some focus now, which we have in Bias Cognition, which is coming up at some point. Give me a Zap, Bullseye, Scrape, Force Field. Creative AI can be good, but it's too late for that on this fight. Like in three turns, the Spiker is going to die to Lightning and Thorns anyways, who cares. In fact, he's dead now. Energy Potion. Thorns is really good. Dex can be amazing if we get Artifact. I think we get rid of Regen. Hologram, no thank you. Beam Cell, eh, no thank you. We gotta start upgrading the cards that we have, and we have to also take a, um, a moment on this floor to get the key. We got a lot of stuff to do. So I love Fission here, by the way. Storm, Machine Learning, Bias Cognition, Fission. That's uh, 39 damage. We get more Lightning back. Sweeping Beam, Strike. Give me the dual cast. We almost killed him on one turn. That's, that's pretty good. More than you would expect. I'll take a Hyper Beam just because it'll kill him in one shot. If we draw it. There we go. 
Poison potion, no thank you. A leap. I think we have enough block, honestly. Actually, we don't have too much block. You know, glacier, steam barrier, steam barrier, steam barrier, force fields. You know what? We do have enough block. Oh, I think about it. Yo, this run could work. Storm, machine learning, strike, white noise. Turbo is useless on this turn. Vision, that's what we're looking for. Whenever you play a power, draw one card. Pretty good. Give me the vision. Give me the bullseye. Give me the scrape. 12 damage. He's gonna make us vulnerable, I think. So. Honestly, I'd rather hit him. 27 damage might seem like a lot, but we have almost enough block. I'm gonna take one. A lot of white noise. I like this because we can actually draw off of it. So every time we play a power, we draw a card and we summon draw a card and we summon lightning. So give me a zap, a loop, static. Self-repair, force field. Uh, give me the, give me a strike. This won't cause him to change. He's only dealing 18 damage, which we can block. Okay, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. I don't wanna reprogram. You got a good feeling about this deck? I hope so. He's not gonna live long enough. Green cell. Scrape. It's only dealing 16 with a big block. I'm okay with him giving himself a big block. Because I think we can get him next turn. It's only a block for 16 and the loop completely destroyed it anyways. <laughs> Good fight. No, I didn't defrag to the deck, please. I'll take a ball lightning. We don't really have too many ways of adding in extra cards like that. Lightning generators. Do we want madness? Probably not. So lose max HP. I hate that event. Storm, machine learning, self-repair, steam barrier. We are gonna take damage on this turn. Nothing we can do about it. I mean, well, I could have played speed potion, which I probably should have played, let's be honest. All we have to do is, is survive long enough and he will die on his own. So I, I, here's, here's what I'm gonna do on this turn. I am gonna fission. I'm gonna fission because if I fission, I'll get the ability to replace these orbs with additional orbs and I'll have the card draw an extra energy. This is a good turn for us, I think. So, you know, give me the loop, give me the white noise. I'll play Hello World for the extra lightning. Give me the beam cell. Give me the force field. Give me the scrape. Give me the buffer. Uh, we should Sleeping Beam, and we should Lightning. I think we're gonna get out of this fight just fine. Bias Cognition would probably do it, and there it is. Gain five focus, that's eight, that's 24 damage, plus it's a power. All Lightning is such a good card. I just have the block potion. Another power? Yes! Another force field? Yes. I like the idea of adding in more powers because if we add in more powers, then, you know, summon two lightning when you take damage could end up doing a lot of damage to the heart on the times 15 or times 12 attack, whatever it is. Whatever it is. I mean, upgraded go for the eyes. Now it's as good as neutralize. Although it has a penalty in that the enemy has to be attacking. Such a weird card. 
Storm. Loop. Ah. <laughs> Probably end up using the energy potion here. I want to play everything. We will lose... No. We will lose one buffer. But that's okay. I really want like an electrodynamics in this deck. We're taking... Hold on. 84 damage? Are you kidding me? Excuse me? That's too much damage. Okay, now it's significantly less damage, but we're still gonna get hit for a lot. Good lord. Pop that potion. Give me the defend. Actually, there was no point in even playing those cards, was it? Was it? Because... Oh no! We're taking no damage because the dagger attacked before her. I've never been happier. I kinda don't wanna scrape. If I scrape, I might scrape past all for one, which we just added. But uh, we need to play block. More block. Hit ya. I will scrape. Hopefully get more blocks. Oh my god. Yeah, I'd say we've got a lot of block on that one. <laughs> yeah, loop. This fight looks like it's gonna go just fine. Give me a turbo. You mean all for one? No, no, no. Sweeping beam. Oh my god. Give me a cool headed. Okay, give me a bias cognition. No, no, no. We gotta play all for one before we do vision, which means we have to play bias cognition after that. What? This is a. Uh... Okay, hold up. <laughs> Get rid of steam barrier. No, because we're just going to draw it again. What are we drawing? Beam cell, go for the eyes, stuff like that. And force field, force field, force field. All for one is actually not that good here. So let's do bias cognition. Give me a loop. Give me a fission. We can zap. We can all for one. We can zap. Good. Sure, give me an echo form. <laughs> right on time. We've taken no damage in this fight. Also, what happened to our deck? Our deck just like exploded at the end there. <laughs> I don't need a second go for the eyes. I mean, it could be excellent, but I'd rather not fill up the deck too much. I mean, we already have 36 freaking cards. My God. Make white noise free. I know we have four energy, but we're always happy to have that for free. Oh, it's so good, but it's also so bad. We have to take the key, though. I don't... Fossilize Helix... Oh, we, right, we didn't take it. It has, like, a 50-50 chance of being good on the heart fight, because it is a 50-50 chance, basically, of being able to block the first damage for 60, but you could lose it due to the uh, piercing stabs or whatever it is. Uh, heartbeat, beat of death. It's an interesting card, but it just it's a pain in the butt sometimes. Let's make a uh, beam cell better. And I will fight an elite. Big head is what I was worried about, but I don't think he's gonna be too bad. New storm, machine learning, beam cell. Actually, zap beam cell. Big head man sucks, but if we play bias, play a lot of cards, do a lot of damage, we should be fine. Give me a fission. Because we're going to be replacing the orbs anyways. Play anything that's free to make him slow. That does 10. That does 11. Do we buy his cognition? I think we do. Because if we take more than 5 turns to kill him, we're going to be really sad about it. That being said, it would be nice to keep the fight going for a long time without bias cognition, but I, th I think you go for it. We've only done 100 damage in two turns, though. It's not looking great. 
Okay, anything that's free. Give me the bullseye. Give me the scrape. There goes a lot of powers. I will take a ball lightning. Uh, ooh, we've only done like another 60 on that turn. Oh, this is this is looking pretty bad. Never play a power, draw a card. Yeah, sure, here's a power. Now what do we want? Go for the eyes, ball lightning. Play that, play this. Then go for the eyes, scrape. The ball lightning. Ooh, this is looking so scary. Core Surge is great, but we've already played Bias Cognition. So we're gonna play Defrag because it buys us one extra turn. Really wish I had Buffer, but it's in the draw pile. Give me a loop. Give me a zap. Give me a, Give me a zap. Give me a Steam Barrier. Sweeping Beam. Cold snap, all lightning. This is taking way too long. <laughs> Let me get that buffer out there. Okay, here co here goes all of our block. By the way, we're at a block, <laughs> pretty much. Oh, that's this is dangerous, man. Although I do like having a lock on. Makes the orbs do a little bit more damage. We're back to our original level of focus, but we do have a defrag. And a steam barrier, and a steam barrier, and a turbo, which we kind of have to play now. Cool headed. That was the best cool headed ever. We only ended up 2 HP down fighting this guy. That's not bad, but good lord, that could have been better. 410 gold. Shuriken is not what this deck is about. It would be nice though. No longer become frail. That's actually not bad for the elite fight. We have no X cards. Um, Not for the elite fight, for the heart fight rather. Yeah, where's my artifact potions? Um, I don't want Hello World. Nilri's Codex is basically a better Hello World. I don't think you take anything here. I really don't. I think you wait for the next shop. We could remove a card, but we have nothing, you know, fantastic to remove. I'd rather save my money and just hope for a, a good draw. Next. Meteor Strike Madness. Zap, regret. Meteor strike. We don't ever have five energy, so we can't take this. Well, I guess with Happy Flower we might. Claw, Glacier, Zap. Madness, there's no cards I wanted. I'll fight the elite. We've been, we've been pretty good so far about fighting elites and making it out successfully, so I think we're okay. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a energy potion to use this time. We'll storm. We will probably static buffer. We'll lose one buffer. Electrodynamics. We'll use one buffer here, and hopefully we'll use another buffer on the Reptomancer on the next turn. But we have to do a ton of damage to kill these guys. Which we can. Electrodynamics will do it. What a draw. What a draw. We needed that, absolutely needed that. So we're taking no damage. I will take a, I mean, a Thunder Strike is really good. We're gonna be summoning more lightning every time we play a power. Yeah, dude, give me a Bias Cognition, why not? 
just do a bunch of damage. Could add in another one. Or a multicast. Uh, heck, add in another Thunderstrike, why not? Give me a Bullseye. I should have bullseyed her because he was gonna die anyways. And that's it. That's fine, we'll take a little bit of damage. Hopefully we'll be able to draw into self-repair soon. There it is. No, 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 no! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I can't seem to get that card out whenever I need it. All right, take the key. This is our run, this is our, uh, all that we have. Kinda wish we had more, but that's okay. Gonna take three damage. I think you keep playing the powers. Even if it's a storm, unupgraded, even if it's static discharge, I think powers is how we do this. And I'm not playing bias cognition, not this early. It's far too early for that. Instead, we're gonna block. More lightning. Give me more block. Only taking three. I will bullseye. I think the bullseye is helpful. Does increase the damage slightly. Not by a whole much, but a little bit. You can only play two cards. Buffer. And give me... Cold snap. We need to we need to do more damage. Rainbow's good. All for one is great. Not fantastic in a um, in a deck against a time eater, but we can make it work. We have a lot of zero energy cards, namely a couple of force fields. We want those. So play the zap. Play the scrape. Oh my god. Give me a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We couldn't get beam cell. No wait, beam cell's in the draw pile. There it is. Huh. We go for the eyes. Give me a zap. Give me a. I mean, like one force field does it. I kind of don't want to play two more cards. I kind of want to wait. If we play fission, what'll happen? We'll draw a power. And the boss will take enough damage that they will roll over. No, they won't. They won't necessarily roll over. We, I think we have to wait one more turn. Ah, man, but he's gonna hit us with the debuff. What does the debuff do? I can't remember. Next turn, we only have two cards. Ugh. This is where I don't know what we do. I'm just gonna wait. We'll, uh, we have to go one more turn, but you're only blocking this turn, that's perfect. Give me the storm. Give me the heat sinks. Echo form has to be played next turn, which is perfect. No, because you haven't healed yet. <laughs> we needed to do like four more damage, but that's fine. There's our draw. This is extra energy. Although all we need to do is block on this turn, but we need energy and cards to block. So, give me the beam cell. Give me this. Give me the scrape. Give me the scrape. I'm I'm hoping to get you know force fields, steam barriers, stuff like that. We're playing too many cards. In fact, at this point, I'm like just roll them over. We can't kill him in one turn, but we can take very little damage. Okay, so he's gonna buff back up to half health. So on this turn, we play nothing. Not even a cold snap, I don't think. You know, I, 
I will play one Cold Snap just for the Frost. No, what are we drawing next turn? Cool Headed, Ball Lightning, eh. Let it, let it simmer. Okay, he's dealing 39 damage. That's a lot of damage. So we're gonna play a Bias Cognition. It was duplicated, thanks to Echo Form. Well, <laughs> we got a lot of lot of lightning now. Oh my God, we're playing a lot of cards, and we're summoning a lot of lightning. And each lightning is doing 27 damage. I think we're gonna be fine. Like, there's another 27. There's another 27 twice. Wow, Echo Form plus Bias Cognition at the end there was amazing. Really wish you got one extra relic from the third floor boss. But unfortunately, you don't. If we upgrade, what would we upgrade? Not much. Turbo. Bottle Tornado, choose a power, it's in your hand at the start of combat. What power would we want at the start of combat? Not Bias Cognition. Unless we draw an artifact. So I'm actually gonna put Bias Cognition in my starting hand, because if I can get an artifact potion at the shop, Bias Cognition turn one is really good. There is no artifact potion, there is nothing that can prevent the artifact from hitting. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping we could get something, but that's okay. You know, no clockwork souvenir, no artifact potion. We're, we're, we are gonna get one more potion. One more potion. One more potion. Might be enough. I'm never gonna play it. Might as well play like a, a speed potion. So the Pantograph will work on the heart fight. We'll get 25 HP before the fight. And the oddly smooth stone for the deck stuff I think is pretty good. Do we want to buy his cognition? Oh man, I don't think so. I think you'll wait. Problem is these guys do a lot of damage, but if we play our powers, we will get a lot of block. Give me a storm. Give me a cool headed. Machine learning. Sweeping beam. Nineteen block. Give me the defend. And give me a Honestly, a core surge would be nice, because I think these guys do do a debuff that reduces your focus. Now they reduce my strength. It's probably better, honestly. Oh my god, you're doing 40! And I don't have any more powers in my hand, which really sucks. We're gonna have to spend a lot of energy playing the force fields now. Give me the turbo. I mean, we have to turbo. We need more block. We are not taking any damage, very surprisingly. There goes Core Surge, lovely. <laughs> Give me another loop. I think in this fight, we just want to try to outlive the enemies. This is going to be a weird one. It's going to be a tricky one. Another storm is fine. We should Bullseye first. Unfortunately, we can't get rid of his artifact. But we do need to turn around anyways. So turn around. Ooh, we're gonna take a big hit here. Electrodynamics we want. But again, we heal for 25, and once we get the self-repair, we're gonna heal for another 10. 
It's not that bad. Make him weak. We have power, so we can get our orbs back, so I'm gonna fission into a loop, static discharge, self-repair. Give me a dual cast, cold snap, block, block. Not a great turn, and it's taking a long time to kill these guys, but we're just waiting for electrodynamics, which will help us out a great deal. Gotta turn around again. <laughs> Okay, well, don't really have a good way of doing that, but give me a capacitor, give me a loop. Electro, oh, we should have electrodynamics first. Yeah, we've also lost one focus, unfortunately. And we, we have to turn around to live, so fear potion. Uh, are we just dead? No, we, we are not dead, but we are very close. We have four HP. And they're dead. Bottle Lightning, put a skill in your hand, you start each combat with that card. Here's the thing, I know exactly what skill to put in my hand. Fission, we can have a good turn one. This is the wrong time for it. We didn't get an artifact potion. Storm. Machine learning. Draw. Loop. Vision. We gotta play like all of our powers on turn one if we can. So give me the white noise. Defrag is so good here. Drink the thorns potion. Or block. Strike, strike, strike. Core Surge. We have to get that Core Surge out there, and we have to make sure we play it with Bias Cognition. If we can do that, I think we can win. But we really do need to get back around to that Bias Cognition. So we're also going to take... Oh, we're, never mind. We're dead. <laughs> no, we're not. Buffer is going to save our lives. Okay. If I play Zap, we draw but we don't have the energy to play everything. We have to Steam Barrier, Core Surge, Buffer, then that's it. Actually, we can play one Zap. Core Surge, Buffer, Zap. And now we let the Buffer take the 60 damage. Oh, thank you, Buffer. My god. Take an Auto Shield. Whew. Now, if we lose buffer, we lose buffer. We're gonna lose buffer. The question is how much. I do think this is a good turn for the speed potion. We're vulnerable and frail, so we're taking a buttload of damage because of those two things. Normally, this is a two times 12, and normally these are worth more. How much can we block? Well, we can block six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 17, plus another 10. We can block 27, which is not enough. But if we play Speed Potion, I think we can block everything. Or at least enough. He's dealing 36 damage. This gets us to enough block. I think that's a great use of that potion. And I think we do want to all for one. We want to all for one back the free cards that we're playing. Force Field, in, you know, specifically. But also, the go for the eyes, the beam cell. Give me the force field. Self repair for lightning. Well, if we're gonna do that, we should probably dual cast first. E one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I should have beam celled first, actually. That's dumb. Zap. Wow. It's all just zero cost stuff. Man, a, uh, whatchamacallit, we still have a buffer, we can block his next attack with a buffer. We had a calipers, this would be great, just play all of the blocks, but we do not have a calipers. Oh, oh no. Okay, it's not that bad, I just, I just realized something. We played Core Surge and then we drank the potion, 
New effects, by the way. So we have a permanent plus five dex up. We're not going to be able to use it with bias cognition, which is fine. But we just have to be careful. We have to remember that. We have to get another artifact somehow. Oof, that's uh, a little scary. <laughs> get the, through the artifact. Actually, we're going to probably lose the um, buffer on this turn, I think. Will we? No, we're blocking enough, surprisingly. And he took a lot of damage because we have six thorns. Auto shield first. Scrape would go through cool headed heat sinks. That's fine. Actually, let's pop Buffer. I'd like to play a couple of more powers. I would like to play a Creative AI too. He's gonna take the next turn off as well. So it's a free turn next turn. So give me he Heat Sings, give me Creative AI. Give me a Ball Lightning. Unfortunately, we have all for one here, but that's okay. Add in as many force fields as possible. Good lord. Okay, Beat of Death is now at two. He's doing 72 damage. Okay, um, that's wonderful. Yay. You block. I have to buy us at this point to live. Give me a Glacier. Storm is at one. I think, we're, I think we're dead. How much block do we have? We have... Okay, six times 12. That's 72 damage. We will live, I think? I think we will live. It's damn close. I think if we heat sink zap, we actually take one more damage, but we get another lightning out. Yeah. Never mind, we have force field. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Much better. You know what? Core surge. Okay, that's not a bad turn considering I thought we were actually gonna die. And that's the static discharge for the win. <laughs> that's why you take those cards. When you're going up against the heart, it's basically just like a super thorn. Oh man, we've done it. A deck that had seemingly no archetype whatsoever has done it. Defect, level three, completed. God, I hate this character. <laughs> it just seems far too random. Like you really do need good cards to make it work and we only barely made it work due to some luck, I think. Ooh. I will say, because we had, uh, because we had Bias Cognition in our opening hand, and then we played Core Surge, and then we played the potion, the speed potion, I think that actually saved our lives. Because Bias Cognition did not come around soon enough that it would have saved our lives, but the extra block we were getting definitely was worth it. It was a complete accident that I even stumbled across that. I didn't think about it until... I noticed that, you know, the Steam Barrier was playing for 11 block. I was like, this is a lot of block. What's going on? Oh, wait a minute. Our dex is six. But I think that was fine. We ended up blocking for enough that we survived. And thanks to the thorns plus the static discharge, we we're hitting the boss for 200 damage every time he hit us. And that saved us at the very end there. Oof, man. Close, close run. I will say thank you, Frozen Egg, for allowing me to add in such great powers. And honestly, Prayer, Re Prayer Wheel plus Busted Crown was not too bad. Yes, it me means that we have two fewer cards to choose from every time we choose a card, but we have double the amount of cards to choose from thanks to Prayer Wheel. So it ended up being not too bad for us. And we were able to add in some good stuff.
Jelly Lorem says, The defect seems like you could make it work if you have no idea about the synergies, you just stack it with good cards. While potentially true, there are just some core cards that you really do need to have to make the deck work. We, ha I think, had a, a defensive build thanks entirely to that speed potion that I accidentally artifacted. It worked, though, because I had a lot of blocks in the deck. I had a lot of free blocks, you know, force fields. I had draws into the force fields. Once we played heat sinks, I had draws into the force fields by playing other powers. You know, that's the, the block that we ended up having. We didn't have, like, a frost cracked core here, a frosty core, whatever it's called. But we managed to make it work barely, and even... <laughs> And we managed to make it work even though we had no focus up on the heart fight, which I didn't even know that you could do that. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I thought you had to have focus to defeat the heart because it's a hard fight. But I guess if you have, you know, six decks plus an insane amount of blocks that you can draw for free, it, it can work. And that's what we had. Steam barriers, force fields, a ton of powers, a ton of draw, and a ton of scrapes. Ah, oh, it worked. It worked. I can, I'm happy. I'm happy because now we can move back over to like the Silent or the Ironclad next time. So for those of you out there on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. You can check me out on Twitch for when I go live. You can support me on Patreon if you so choose. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Slay the Spire.